Hey, how's it going? Robert here from robertsproductions.net coming at you with a real quick update on the QR code tutorial that I did about a year ago. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at actually colorizing this QR code. So I left you off in the previous tutorial with just adding the icon and the QR code remained black. But what if you will kind of want to colorize it, make it look something like this and, you know, give it a nice little gradient with a few extra colors. Well, this is what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, when you are choosing colors, you kind of want to make sure that you, you stay with a light background and a dark enough QR color so that your phone or whatever device still reads it. Now, you can you know have your phone next to you and just keep on trying, make sure everything is still working as you're designing it and coloring it just to make sure that everything is working properly. Now, to get started, we're going to go to goqr.me. Just as a refresher, I showed you how to do this in the last video, but... We're going to add a URL, robertsproductions.net, and you can see the QR code that that produces. Now, if you actually want a shorter, less complex QR code, just like it says down here, you can use a URL shortener. So if you have a long URL, this will be very complex with a lot of different you know, lines, and it'll look pretty busy. Now, to shorten this, all you have to do is go to a website like bit.ly or uh, bitly.com and just copy that shorter link paste this right in here and if you'll watch this you'll notice as I paste it the uh, code got much simpler now we can go down here and actually adjust the size I did not do this in the last tutorial but if you if you are going to maybe put this on something like a poster or a shirt you might want to bring the size of this up a bit so I'm gonna bring it to 700 by 700 pixels as I'm gonna be putting it on a 1000 by 1000 document so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the options here and I'm gonna bring the error correction code down to Q and that's just going to make it so that we can, you know, cover up more of the QR code with it still being readable. Uh, you can also bring this all the way to H, but it just makes it a little bit more complex. So I'm going to leave it at Q. And once we have that all done, we can just click download and download that right to our PC or Mac. Now, open up Photoshop and we're going to open up a new document. This is a thousand by a thousand pixels. And with a light gray, kind of going to a darker gray here radial gradient as a background. What I'm going to do is navigate to that folder, drag that QR code right in here, and here we have it. We can resize it. I'm going to size it down just a bit, probably around there. Hit enter to confirm that selection. It should be in the center, but if it's not, I'm going to go ahead and hold control or command, click the background here, and then up here with the move tool selected, we can center it both vertical and horizontally. And there you go. It kind of nudged a little bit, so it wasn't exactly in the center. And with that done, we're going to actually right click the QR code layer now and click rasterize layer. So that was a smart object, but we need to rasterize it so that we can remove the white background. Now we're going to go to select color range and we're going to select the white here. And with a fuzziness at 100, we're going to click OK and that'll select all the white within the image. I'm just going to simply hit delete. And that'll delete all the white. Now I can hit Control or Command D to deselect or select, deselect to deselect your selection. So now that we have that all finished, we can go ahead and start colorizing this. So all you have to do is double click the QR code layer and that'll bring up the layer styles here. And we can go down here to gradient overlay. So with gradient overlay selected, we can click on the gradient here and adjust these colors. I'm gonna go ahead and Start off with a darker color here. I have a hex code that we can use 031634. Click OK. That's a really dark navy blue. And then for the last color there, we're going to go with 033649. Click OK and OK. And I like the way it looks, the style as linear. You can also have that set as radial or whichever style you prefer. And of course, you can always go in and add any kind of style that you'd like. You can add a bevel and emboss. You can add uh, a few of these things you may want to be careful with, such as a drop shadow, because it, your phone or device may not be able to read it as clearly. And you mainly want to stick with darker colors, especially if the QR code is going to be on a light background. You can try a dark background with a lighter color QR code, just as long as it's still readable and devices are able to scan it. So lastly, we're going to click OK and we are done here. You can go in and add the shapes and just like this, you'll have the final outcome with the shape in the middle and then the gradient with your colorized QR code. 
You can also go in there and adjust the shapes for these little squares. I'll show you a few examples here from qrlicious.com. Here's a showcase of different QR codes that you can look at. I'll post the link in the description below. And here you can see how the different companies designed their QR code, such as Burger King, Saddle Network, Chili Peppers. And you can see how it's kind of blotchy, kind of like it's paint. And you can achieve that by going through Photoshop's artistic filters. And you can go through there and, you know, see what works, see what's readable. And again, it's all trial and error. And as you can see right there, you can also add an inner shadow. So there you have it, colorizing your QR codes here in Photoshop. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like these, click subscribe right up at the top. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, I'm Robert from robertsproductions.net, and I'll see you all next time.